If you're one of the millions of Americans who woke up today feeling frustrated about your health, but also motivated to do something new, this video is for you. If you've been watching my videos, you've seen lots and lots of people who are completely changing their lives by following a very simple protocol. And in this video, I'm gonna give you step-by-step -step instructions that anybody can follow anywhere in the world to hopefully start seeing similar results as soon as tomorrow. So that you can absorb what I'm about to show you with confidence, at the end of this, I'm gonna play a short clip from one of the top doctors in the world who's going to help validate what I'm trying to explain. Step number one, increase your fiber intake. If you've seen my videos, I talk a lot about this. There are so many amazing health benefits of fiber. And if you have diabetes, prediabetes, or if you struggle with your weight, it is critical that you increase the amount of fiber you have in your diet. It helps control blood sugar, it helps protect your heart, it helps maintain your digestive health, and it keeps you extremely full. It really prevents overeating. When we eat fiber, it's not digested in our stomach or our small intestines, it actually makes it all the way to the large intestines. And in here, it gets fermented by the microbes living in our gut. Our microbes ferment the fiber into short chain fatty acids. And if you're struggling with any of the problems that we're talking about, there's a good chance it's because you have a shortage of short chain fatty acids. Short chain fatty acids help us regulate our blood sugar, they lower cholesterol, they regulate appetite big time, they suppress fat accumulation, and they're great for our brain. They're also incredibly helpful at reducing inflammation and doing a bunch of other good things. At mealtimes, if we simply start the meal with diverse sources of soluble and insoluble plant fiber, our blood sugar and insulin spikes are significantly reduced. So at the beginning of your meals, simply eat more diverse plant fibers, veggies, fruits, seeds, herbs, or you can supplement. I supplement on a daily basis. In this video, I talk about the supplement that I use. Again, you don't have to supplement, but for some people, it's much more realistic and convenient. If it sounds too easy or too good to be true, just listen to this coming from one of the top doctors in the world. This is why a person who has type 2 diabetes, insulin resistance, can literally take a fiber supplement with their meal and notice improvement of their blood sugar. Literally by the meal. Concept that literally all you have to do is throw that fiber in there with the meal and you will improve your blood sugar control. So step number one, increase fiber. In 2013, a doctor named Dr. Jason Fung took a bunch of type 2 diabetics into his clinic. Most of the patients with type 2 diabetes have a complete reversal of the disease and are off all medications in three to six months. So how did he do it? Intermittent fasting. I've done a lot of videos on intermittent fasting, but the basics are this. When we're fasting, we're keeping insulin levels low and we're burning fat for fuel. When it's time to eat, we focus on fiber, protein, healthy fat, and this creates a super potent formula for reducing glucose and insulin levels. I talk about the fasting protocol in greater detail in this video. And in this video, I break everything down super clear, but you might have to adjust your privacy settings to see this one. 